congressmen continue digging deeper into the controversial flood control projects in Sorsogon. They're asking why a flood-prone town like Matnog isn't getting any budget while another town that's rarely flooded is getting over 300 million pesos. The House Committee on Rules opened the year with a hearing in Naga City to look into the Budget Department's alleged anomalous insertions in the national budget. Secretary Ben Jokno supposedly inserted some 75 billion pesos in the 2019 budget of the DPWH without the agency's knowledge. That allegedly includes a 1.7 billion peso fund for flood control projects in the province of Sorsogon and another 325 million pesos for the town of Casiguran, which House Majority Floor Leader Rolando Andaya says is an area that is not often flooded. Lawmakers questioned why in contrast, Matnog Town got zero budget allocation this year when it experiences more flooding than the towns that got multi-million budget allocations. The DPWH Regional Office admitted they have no flood control master plan for the province. May ilang contractors din na kumamin. Ibinulugar nila ang flood control scam na nangyayari ngayon. Sa mga flood control projects daw, inilalagay ang park funds. Dahil daw, walang master plan ang DPWH pagdating sa flood control. Andaya says, the budget set aside by Jokno for Sorsogon may end up getting awarded to Arimar Construction Corporation, whose alleged shareholders include Kasiguran Mayor Jose Edwin Hamor, the father of Jokno's son-in-law, Jose Romeo Sikat Jr., Andaya revealed that in 2018, 10 billion pesos were allocated for Sorsogon's infrastructure projects, which were handled by Arimar Construction in joint ventures with City Leoncio Construction. Romeo Sikat Jr., also known as Jojo, is the husband of Charlotte Justin Jokno Sikat. Charlotte is a daughter of DBM Secretary Jokno. Clear case of conflict of interest. The owner of City Leoncio denied any personal knowledge on the owners of Arimar Construction, leading lawmakers to suspect that City Leoncio may be a dummy contractor. Moro moro lang daw ang nangyayari sa bidding. Ang trabaho talaga ng AAA contractors makuha ang kontrata at ipahiram ang lensensya sa totoong gagawa ng proyekto. Sa ating kaso ngayon, lumalabas ng City Leoncio ang nanalo sa project pero ang totoong may-ari ng proyekto ay ang Arimar Construction. Andaya says he has discovered seven other dummy contractors for different companies. To prove this, he presented a copy of a deposit slip for a transaction worth 11 million pesos. A AAA status contractor won the bidding for a government project. It then wired the money to another firm so it could fully take over this project. He did not disclose the names of the companies, but Andaya says he will do so in another hearing with COA and AMLC officials who may uncover more anomalous transactions involving government projects. Bella Toledo, We Are One News.